One Nation One Airspace, India plans unified command center for air traffic control. The initiative to centralize India's airspace management represents a significantly transformative effort that seeks to revolutionize the country's aviation sector. Through the consolidation of control over Indian airspace spanning approximately 2.8 million square nautical miles into a unified command center in Nagpur located in Maharashtra state, India aims to enhance efficiency of operations to optimize it, reducing emissions, bolstering safety in the country's aviation sector and sustainability in air traffic management operations. This report delves into the historical evolution of air traffic and air traffic control, both globally and within India, providing insights into recent developments, including the acquisition of a high number of civilian aircraft by Indian companies. Additionally, it examines the technical aspects, socio-economic implications, and potential benefits of the proposed unification of air traffic control. Details for this video has been gathered from various news reports of April 6, 2024. Hi friend! Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Historical Evolution of Air Traffic and Air Traffic Control The evolution of air traffic and air traffic control, ATC, can be traced back to the early days of aviation. With the advent of powered flight in the early 20th century, the need for systematic air traffic management became apparent. The first air traffic control tower was established in Cleveland, Ohio, in 1930, marking the beginning of organized ATC services. Over the decades, advancements in technology, including radar systems, radio communication, and automation, have revolutionized air traffic management. The establishment of international organizations such as the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, has played a pivotal role in standardizing ATC procedures and regulations worldwide. In India, the development of air traffic control infrastructure has mirrored global trends. The Airports Authority of India, AAI, established in 1995, is the primary agency responsible for managing civil aviation infrastructure, including air traffic control towers and communication systems. Over the years, India has made significant investments in modernizing its ATC infrastructure to keep pace with the growing demands of air travel. Background and Context India currently operates four distinct flight information regions, FERS, in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, and Chennai, along with a sub-FIR in Guwahati. The move to unify these regions under a single command center in Nagpur is driven by the need to address various challenges, including safety concerns, airspace capacity limitations, airport constraints, resource management, and environmental issues. Chronology and Planning The initiative has been in discussion for at least five months, with the Airports Authority of India, AAI, spearheading the effort. A detailed project report, DPR, has been requested to study the technological requirements and available solutions for the implementation of the Indian Single Sky Harmonized, Ishan, Air Traffic Management System. The envisaged timeline for the project spans approximately eight years and includes infrastructure development, controller training, and migration to the new system. Recent Trends in Civilian Aircraft Purchases In recent years, Indian airlines have witnessed a surge in aircraft purchases, driven by increasing demand for air travel and fleet expansion strategies. Major carriers such as Indigo, SpiceJet, and Air India have placed substantial orders for new aircraft to meet growing passenger demands and replace aging fleets. According to Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya, the number of Indian aircraft has increased by 75% since FY14 and is likely to double to 1,500 in the next five years. Indigo, India's largest airline, placed a historic order for 300 Airbus A320neo aircraft in 2019, reaffirming its position as a key player in the Indian aviation market. Similarly, 
SpiceJet has committed to acquiring Boeing 737 MAX aircraft to bolster its fleet and expand its route network. Additionally, the Indian government's regional connectivity scheme, UDN, Ka AAM Nagrik, has incentivized the purchase of smaller regional aircraft to enhance connectivity to underserved regions. This has led to increased orders for turboprop aircraft from manufacturers such as ATR and Bombardier. The influx of new aircraft into the Indian aviation market is poised to have significant implications for airspace management and air traffic control. The need to efficiently manage the growing number of flights necessitates the optimization of airspace utilization and the adoption of advanced air traffic management systems. Technical Aspects of Unifying Air Traffic Control Centralizing airspace management in Nagpur involves a comprehensive overhaul of existing air traffic control systems and procedures. Key technical aspects include the integration of radar systems, communication networks, and automation technologies to ensure seamless coordination and monitoring of air traffic. Over the last few years, all radars have been upgraded and most of those with Mode S, which employ modern technologies, said a senior AAI official. To facilitate the implementation of Indian Single Sky Harmonized Ishan, Air Traffic Management System, India is seeking expertise from global consultants and organizations experienced in Single Sky Harmonized Air Traffic Management. The full program, including setting up infrastructure, training controllers and migration to a new system, will take up to eight years, according to the officials. Modern technologies such as performance-based navigation, PBN, and satellite-based augmentation systems such as the Indian Space-Based Augmentation System, Dagen, play a crucial role in enabling precision navigation and approach procedures, thereby enhancing airspace capacity and safety. Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, ADSB, technology and advanced automation systems enables real-time tracking of aircraft, providing accurate position information to air traffic controllers. By enhancing surveillance coverage and reducing reliance on ground-based radar, ADSB contributes to more efficient air traffic management. The consolidation of airspace control into a single command center in Nagpur requires robust infrastructure, including state-of-the-art radar systems, communication networks, and data processing facilities. Moreover, Comprehensive training programs for air traffic controllers and technical personnel are essential to ensure smooth transition and operation of the unified air traffic control system. Benefits and Advantages of a Unified Command Center Centralizing airspace management in Nagpur is expected to yield several benefits. These include enhanced safety measures, reduced carbon footprint, optimized air traffic capacity, streamlined communication and coordination processes, and more fuel-efficient flight paths. By minimizing airspace sector boundaries and surveillance gaps, the initiative aims to improve overall operational efficiency and user satisfaction. Implementing the single airspace strategy will allow carriers to determine the most optimal routes, saving time and fuel. Planes can fly more consistently at higher altitudes, burning less fuel, and descend more efficiently and smoothly to land. Currently, when an aircraft passes over the Indian region, the controllers have to hand it over to the other region, which includes a lot of coordination especially over busier air routes, said a senior air traffic control official. Once a single unified sky is achieved, almost 75-80% to 80 of controllers will be based in Nagpur, reducing the need for coordination, leading to less stress and fatigue. Single coordination also allows restructuring of air routes, opening up more fuel-efficient routes for airlines. Pilots have said that it will also reduce their workload inside the cockpit as they wouldn't need to change radio frequencies multiple times to connect with different regions. You get to know your altitude, routing well in advance and if you are flying above 25,000 feet, you can overfly with complete radio silence without seeking multiple clearances and reducing communication with the ATC air traffic control, a senior commander said, asking not to be named. Socioeconomic Impacts The unification of air traffic control is expected to yield a multitude of socioeconomic benefits for India. Enhanced safety measures, streamlined airspace management, and optimized flight routes contribute to improved operational efficiency and cost savings for airlines. 
Reduced fuel consumption and emissions resulting from more fuel-efficient flight paths align with India's commitments to environmental sustainability and climate change mitigation. By minimizing airspace sector boundaries and surveillance gaps, the initiative facilitates smoother air traffic flow and minimizes delays, thereby enhancing overall passenger experience. The consolidation of airspace management also has implications for trade and commerce, as efficient air transport is crucial for facilitating business connectivity and economic growth. Improved connectivity to remote and underserved regions through optimized flight routes supports regional development and tourism initiatives. Furthermore, the centralization of air traffic control operations in Nagpur is expected to stimulate economic development in the region by creating job opportunities and attracting investment in aviation-related industries. The establishment of new airports and expansion of existing facilities contribute to infrastructure development and regional connectivity. Stakeholder Perspectives While the move is generally welcomed for its potential benefits, there are considerations regarding its implementation. Concerns have been raised about the relocation of air traffic controllers and the need for proper infrastructure and accommodations in Nagpur. However, stakeholders recognize the importance of harmonizing airspace management for the overall advancement of India's aviation sector. Conclusion In conclusion, India's initiative to unify air traffic control and to centralize airspace management represents a monumental step towards modernizing and optimizing the country's aviation infrastructure. By consolidating control over airspace into a single command center in Nagpur, India aims to enhance safety, efficiency, and sustainability in air traffic management operations. The influx of new aircraft into the Indian aviation market underscores the importance of optimizing airspace utilization and adopting advanced air traffic management systems. The successful implementation of the Indian Single Sky Harmonized ATM Ishan, project holds the potential to propel India's aviation sector to new heights. The socio-economic benefits of the proposed initiative are far-reaching, encompassing cost savings for airlines, improved passenger experience, and enhanced regional connectivity. As India continues to strive for excellence in aviation, the unification of air traffic control stands as a testament to the nation's commitment to innovation and progress in the field of civil aviation. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.